Alright guys, welcome to Car Wolf Fitness and today we're going to be doing a review on these flapped jack protein pancakes and these have 20 grams of protein per serving and all you have to do is just add water. So the macros on these are 200 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein and a serving is half a cup. But if you wanted a full cup, all you would have to do is just get one cup of mix and two thirds cup of water. And basically, you just go get two. This is one third, so you just go fill this up twice if you were doing two servings and throw it in the batter. But uh, for one serving, you just need one of those. So um, yeah, you can make cookies and stuff out of these too. I'm a little under the weather, by the way. And I found this the first time I came across this, I was at Lindbergh Nutrition. And uh, torrents, and I'm all like, "Well, all you gotta do is just add water." So I'm like, "Let me give them a try." I gave them a try. I liked them, and ever since then, I've been eating them. And the second time I came across them, I came across them at my local, my local Ralphs. See, that's why I love my local Ralphs. They have everything, man. They got everything that I like, everything that I need. Okay, so basically, let me what what you're gonna need to make this. You're gonna need some kind of like butter non-stick spray or regular non-stick spray or a little bit of light oil optional you can put blueberries i'm putting semi-sweet kroger brand chocolate chips so 70 calories two and a half uh grams of fat zero grams uh zero milligrams of sodium eight grams of sugar that's for one tablespoon i'm just gonna be throwing like a few up in here And also, we'll be using some of this light, some of this light original cereal. All right, so I have a bowl right here, with like a little slot, so I can pour the the pancakes in the um in this in this pot right here easily. And I have a whisk. If you don't have a whisk, you can use a fork, but I mean. Whisk is like a dollar to 99 cent store, so if you got a 99 cent store close to you, you can go there and buy one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna throw the mix in the bowl. Then I'm gonna fill this up, this one third cup. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna fill this up with um, cold water. Pour it in there. Then this is without a whisk it. You gotta whisk it. And whether you're making a, a regular serving or two servings, you have to let it sit for three minutes. Whisk it real good. Get all the chunks out and everything. Look at that grip, look at that grip, look at that grip. Look at that grip. Alright, that's about it's cool enough. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm done with my whisk. In the sink. I'm gonna grab like a a few chocolate. A few chocolate chips. Put it in there. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put it in there. Put it in there. You, ain't need, you don't need the whiskey. You can just move it around to get it in there if you want. But I'm just gonna put it in there. So I'm gonna set my timer for three minutes on my stove. And I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to you guys once I have this heated up. I'm gonna heat this up. While I wait for the three minutes to pass, I'm gonna come back to you guys when everything is ready and I'm ready to pour the um, the pancake mix inside the pot. All right, it's three minutes later. Now I'm gonna spread a little bit of this butter, spray in my in my pan. I had to I had it heating up on low between the low and two, so now I'm gonna just raise it up to two. 
And I'm gonna pour the batter in. three I'm gonna let it cook if I had to say cook time I say between a minute and a half and like two minutes like per side depending on the heat because my stove goes from low all the way down to six and high and I'm guessing high is a seven so I guess the higher you go the less the cook time you know that's the only thing that really makes sense but I'm cooking mine on um on a three And it says like basically like I'm not no I didn't never really make pancakes until I started making these but it says when the sides start to bubble then you can flip it over but I just I wait till it looks firm enough to flip it over and I got this big this is a pancake a pancake flipping spatula that's the actual name of it I got this from the dollar store I'm all like what the hell that this big spatula and it said pancake flipping spatula I'm like okay that makes sense so that's this is why the special is so big. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get that a little bit more. I don't trust it yet. I don't want it to fall apart. So I'm gonna get a little bit more time. It looks firm enough though. That's how I like it when I flip it, it cooks evenly. All right, so I'm gonna cook this for about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes on this side. And I'm gonna come back to you guys when I have it plated and garnished um, with these little chocolate chips on the next clip. All right, now we're back. And this is how the pancake came out. If you want to use bananas, blueberries, strawberries, apples whatever you like you can use any of that i just chose to use chocolate chips because i like chocolate chip um pancakes but it's versatile you can throw blueberries in here you can put strawberries on top bananas i've done it with bananas before and it tastes delicious so i'm gonna give this a try for you guys and give you my honest review on it okay first Okay, I have my butter knife here. Chocolate's a little melted, so I'm gonna just spread it around. I just put I put a little bit of syrup, not that much, because you know we already got enough chocolate inside and enough on it for sweetness. Okay. Oh that chocolate right there. Alright. Okay. Now, even though these are protein pancakes, they don't have a mouth drying um, taste 
or a texture like a protein bar does. It's not as light as a regular pancake, but it's it's light enough to um, you know not dry your mouth out or nothing like that. You know, cause you no know, protein bars and stuff like that are notorious for being hard like cinder block and mouth drying. These are the opposite of that. They're light, tasty, and like I said, they're not regular pancakes, but they're good enough for me. You know, I'm not I'm really a waffle guy, but if I had to choose pancakes, I'm going with these every time. And uh, and uh, the most want the most the thing the how can I say it? The most um the thing that makes it hit, the thing that just makes it just good overall is that it has 20 grams of protein per serving. So if you would have had two, you know, two pancakes, that's 40 grams of protein. Let me check how many carbs of two pancakes. It will be 20 grams of protein and 46 grams of carbs. Like, you can't you can't beat that with a bat. You know what I mean? You can add bananas on there and strawberries for extra carbs. You know what I mean? If you're trying to watch your weight and stuff like that. Or if you just want to have something light. So, my review on these flapjacked protein pancakes, I give them a 10 out of 10. One, because the texture is not mouth dry. Two, because of the protein and the carbs. And three, just because the the overall taste. Overall taste is wonderful. You know, and that's without the chocolate chips and stuff. Just with a little syrup like regular pancake, it's amazing. So, I advise you guys to try it. You know, give it a try. You can make cookies and stuff out of it too. It tells you everything you can make, you know, with the actual batter mix in the back of the package. So, yeah, if you want to see more review videos like this, some more recipe videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you guys have a good one. God bless.